What's up guys, got a new Mogurt to share with you. This is a full rendering of the TikTok user interface in Mogurt form. So basically in Adobe Premiere, you're able to see exactly what you're gonna get before you post to TikTok and it's fully customizable and fully dynamic. So that means there's no keyframes. It just updates automatically as you make changes to the settings. It's pretty cool, let's check it out. If you've never used a Mogurt before, all the action takes place in the essential graphics panel here. You'll go over to your browse tab and then on the bottom right, you'll click that and scroll to wherever you have downloaded the Mogurt and it should pop up here. From there, it's just a simple drag and drop. Right off the bat, this is maybe the most common layout you will see on TikTok, but the template itself can generate a few other looks. For example, this one can also do sponsored posts and that's one of the big updates here. So we'll just go top to bottom here. Profile picture, pretty self-explanatory. You can just drag and drop an image here and then it'll pop up here just as it looks in TikTok. Similarly, the audio picture is down here. It's the that kind of record. A lot of times it's literally just the same one in both. Username, pretty obvious, George. There you go, that's George. Change it back here. Yeah, these are all pretty self-explanatory. The caption, you can change to whatever you want. This is the caption. If it's shorter, you'll notice it kind of automatically updates. It goes from two lines to one. This automatically shifts down. So the way TikTok's interface changes dynamically depending on what all these inputs are, this moment responds the same way. So progress bar duration, you can see the TikTok's got this progress bar at the bottom. Right now it defaults to 60, but if say you were editing a TikTok that was only 30 seconds, you could just drop the progress bar duration down to 30 and it would complete at 30. Sponsored is the big upgrade for this particular template. I hadn't done a sponsored style before, but now this one has it and it's really just one click. So in one click, it switches over to pretty much the most common sponsored aesthetic that TikTok does. After a few seconds, it kind of renders up like that and the button lights up uh, and all of this is customizable to shop now. We'll change this to yellow, whatever the brand colors are. That's not good, uh, but you know what I mean. Um, whatever your brand colors are, you can do a pretty accurate mock-up to show a client. Okay, so we'll leave the sponsored section here. The music tag, you can just toggle on or off this music row. Similarly, the search bar. I guess the search bar has become a pretty standard feature of TikTok these days, so I added that in uh, if you don't want it. Many posts don't have it. Uh, you can just turn it off. But I, I noticed that in the For You section of TikTok, the search bar is pretty standard, so just for the sake of how your video might look if it were to be organically discovered, I think the search bar on is probably a wise choice. Verified is just that little icon. So the, the bottom section here, these are kind of the things that don't really matter, but for some reason I put them in. Uh, post stats, you know, you can just change all the stats here. Notifications, there's the little red dots here. Don't know why you'd ever need to change that just for the sake of a mock-up, but you can if you want. Phone UI, here's another one. Why did I do this? Same with Wi-Fi signal, I don't know. I did it, it's there, enjoy it. Safety bars, that's just these red bars on the left and right. TikTok and Instagram both crop vertical video, at least the 1080 by 1920 video, they crop a little bit on the left and right, and that's what they crop. So if you're putting something important on the very far left or right of your layout, it's probably gonna get cropped. So these bars just keep you within those guidelines. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you are interested in this Mogurt, it is currently available on Gumroad. There's a link just below in the description. Otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always looking for ways to improve these templates, make them more useful to you, and help you guys do your best work ever. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.